Hey, it's Fergie with RecordingCrave.com. I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys today showing you a few shortcuts in Pro Tools to speed up your workflow. Now I'm using a PC, so all the commands on the keyboard will be PC related. Now I know some of the commands are very similar on a Mac, but there's they're still a little bit of a difference. So let's jump right into this. Now the first thing I want to show you is copying plugins, keeping the same parameters in that plugin for another channel. For example, on Tom 1 here, I have EQ and compression on that. I want to copy those over onto this channel and keeping the same parameters. What I need to do is click Alt on the keyboard, then click on the plugin and drag it over to Tom 2. Same with compression. Click Alt, drag it over, and there it is. Now, if I want to open this up, I can. There's, there's that EQ for Tom 2. Now if I want to open up Tom 1, because maybe I want to make some slight changes between the two, and I want both windows open at the same time, what I'll do is push Shift, and then click on the other plugin. Now if I want the compression open up with those EQs, all I do is push Shift, and there it is. But if I want this opened, I'll push Shift, and then click on it. And there's my compression and EQ for Tom 2. My compression and EQ for Tom 1. Simple as that. Okay, now I want to show you another cool little trick. Let's say I have all this EQ'd up and I want to hear the changes I've made from the original tracks to the way I've EQ'd it up or compressed it. There's a simple way to do that. Now when I come up here to this row, all I need to do is click Control and Alt, and then click on any plugin, and it will bypass all the plugins in that row. Now, same with this, these compressors on this row. I can click anywhere on, on the plugins, Control, push Control, Alt, and then click the plugins, and it bypasses. Every once in a while, you might have to click it twice, but mostly it's just the first time. Come up here on this top row, Control, Alt, and then click on that. Control Alt and click on that and they're all bypassed. Now if I want to turn them back on, it's the same procedure. Control Alt and then click on it. Control Alt, click. Control Alt, click on it. Control Alt, click on it. And there you have it. It's that simple. Another trick I want to show you is sending multiple channels to an aux channel. A good example of that would be the drums. I have my drums here all in orange and then this lighter orange are my verbs for the drums. Way down here by the master fader, I have an aux channel for the drums. You can see the aux channel goes out to the master fader, to the main out, and then the input is a drum bus. Now if I play this track, which I will right now, you can see the drums are playing, but they're not coming through this aux channel. So what I need to do is route those drums to this aux channel. Now Typically in the past, before I knew this shortcut, I'd come here to this output, go over to the bus, and go to drums. And then I have, then that just changed that one, and then I have to go down each one. But there's a quicker way. Let me show you. If I want to put that back to the main output, I come here and go like so. Okay, what I need to do is start where my drums start, which is the kick. Then I'll come all the way over, and I'm going to include the verbs for the drums. Then I'm going to push shift and then click the last one there. That highlights all my drums. Now what I do is come out here, come up here to the main output. Then I'm going to push shift and alt. While I'm holding that down, I'm going to come up here and select this. Come over here to the drums and click on that. And it changes all the outputs for the drums to the drum aux. You can see it didn't affect any other channels. Now let's play it and see what happened. Now you can see that I have signal going through the drum aux. What's nice about that is if I want to mute the drums for whatever reason, all the drums are muted at one button. If I want to turn all the drums up in the mix, I can do that, turn them down, and so on and so forth. And it was super fast and super simple. Now this next shortcut is a cool shortcut. It saves you a lot of time if you want to reset your whole song. Now, let's say you've worked on a mix. You kind of like the mix, but you'd like to try it again to see if you can get it better. 
And a lot of times what you'll do is you'll do a save as and then start on another mix. But if you have to delete all the plugins one by one up here, it's a time consuming task, especially if you have a lot of plugins that you're using. I found a quick way to turn off all the, or actually delete all the plugins that are on your inserts and your sends. Let me show you how to do that. And remember, do a, if, save your original mix. You do a save as and then uh, name your new mix something else. Again, you can come anywhere on a plugin that's inserted on your channel. Push Alt on your keyboard. Come up here to No Insert, and it cleans all the plugins on that row. Like these EQs, I can come to any one of them. Push Alt down. Come up here. Push No Insert. Cleans them all out. Push Alt, No Insert, and it cleans them all out. And it works the same for the sends. Alt, No uh, Send, and it deletes them all. Now you can't get them back, so that's why I'm saying do a save as. If you want to keep what you originally had with the original track, you'll have it. There's a handful of shortcuts right there that will increase your workflow and the speed that you're doing things in, and it'll save you a ton of time. So hopefully these shortcuts have been helpful. I'd love to hear your feedback and any comments on maybe another video you'd like to see. But hey, this is Fergie saying thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.